Welcome, welcome, welcome. MT, how you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I am doing good. Made a crazy creation and it worked out good. That's to come, more info to come, but the creation is alive. Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. It looks real good. Yeah. Oh, tonight we got Trapper, everyone. Let's see. What's, What's up? up Trap? What's up, Trapper? What's up? Yeah, so the creation, Miss Grimmer. Hello. Hello, Michelle. The creation is uh it's alive and well. Yep. I'm excited. Brings a whole new dimension. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. Nancy, everyone. Moose is here. Let's add him to the stage. Hey, Stump Jumper. Stump hey, Jumper. Hello. How y'all doing tonight? April. Hopefully everybody had a great day. Tammy, everybody's pouring in. Yeah. Okay. How are we gonna fit him in here? Let's get him in here. Bam. All right. There he is. Yeah, two for one. Had a bit of trouble. Are you? Hello, Tammy, April, Stump Jumper, Ramona, Chantel, Grimmer, Empty Normal. That's me. Yeah. Victoria Gonzada. There we go. My internet is still going in and out. The street lights are out over here because they're working on it. Okay. So if I drop out too much, I'll uh, I'll jump on my phone. Just so y'all know. Okay. Ramona said she's pooped. <laughs> she's pooped. So start off. I'll start off. Okay. MT, how you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Yeah. Good. Today was uh, good for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Trapper, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 T Mac, how you doing today? Doing very good. Uh, Got a night hike I'm gonna do tonight, and uh, on my uh, YouTube page, you can go over there and vote for where I'll go, where the location will be. Ooh, interested for that. So, and the moose is on the loose. How are you doing today? <laughs> moose is frozen. I think he looks yeah, like he moose looks frozen. froze up. It is cold out today. Yeah, it's cold. You know, Ohio, man. What's this? <laughs> the third day. The third day of spring. And yeah. we have snow. Yep. Yeah, didn't uh, what? didn't get above freezing today. Yeah. Ramona says, Jack, where are your glasses? <laughs> Trappers stepped on them on the last hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Trappers stepped on them. Yo. Yeah. Jackie, April, hello. Yeah, spring is definitely not fighting hard enough. Stump Jumper says, I love the caves. You know, so do I. But sadly to say, there was so much going on in that last hunt in such a short, fast period of time, we didn't get to get to the caves. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh. No, I went in. I I went into one. That's about all I got too. Yeah, Michigan's three to seven inches of snow. That's that's typical for them. Yikes. Oh, you know what we say about Michigan? It's the greatest place in the world. I know. Go blue. Okay, hold on. We got a <laughs> go red and gray. Moose stage. <laughs> a moose to stage. Yeah. See if this works. So. Uh, I know you guys had a uh, man. I had for the seven uh, inches oh. for the caves. I didn't have much. I didn't get much of anything. Uh, but you guys were getting more stuff than me. When I watched your guys's pages, I'm like, wow. 
I didn't like I didn't notice any of this stuff. But uh, the the swamp, I tell you, I thought that place was totally crazy. Hold on, I see something in here. Three to seven inches tomorrow in Michigan. Did yeah. I read that right? Yep. Sounds oh, like then it's place. coming our way. Oh man, Tammy, you just jinxed us. <laughs> Probably. Hey, Patty, Francis, Tammy. Francis, Patty, hello. Uh, where are we at? It's wildfires in VA. Wow. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Be safe. God yeah. bless everybody out there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ramona's daughter's moving to Ohio in a couple weeks. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? It's beautiful here. It'll be winter yeah. here next in, in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's still going to be cold. <laughs> Moose, are you back? Here. Is Moose back or frozen? He's frozen I don't know. Again. Now he looks like he's pale white. <laughs> <laughs> After that last time, he should be. It's just like a screenshot of Moose. Yeah, sorry to hear about that. With the, the stuff Moose seen, he definitely needs to have a camera on. He, he, he keeps running into stuff and doesn't have a camera on. Yeah, well, guess what? When me and Moose were together, we we seen those red eyes and something by that tree leaning. You all remember that when you guys were coming up behind us? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I caught those red eyes, and it looks like it drops down low, and it looks like it goes down into the ground. So I thought maybe an animal of some sort you know what I'm saying? Like something had a hole there. But when I walk over there, I actually am looking at the ground and there's nothing, no hole or anything. Hmm. You know, I didn't realize it till I started watching it, but my signal was kind of on the way out for that whole live stream. It was pretty grainy. So my camera had, I kept mentioning it that my camera for some reason just would just randomly go out of focus for periods of the stream uh just yeah it seemed like we had all kinds of uh tech glitches down there yeah and you remember my i was saying i was watching my camera just the whole screen glitch yeah it was the weirdest thing and then batteries dying my whole battery pack dead like that and that was pretty fresh for when we went out there you know it was it was full and you had the same thing trapper and i think mt had the same thing yeah, Moose had the same thing. My whole live stream was grainy the whole night, and I couldn't tell because it looked looked all right on my uh, phone when I was streaming it. But then after it, when I started watching it back, I realized that my uh, signal was, was pretty messed up. Yeah, it was pretty bad for text back there, but I can tell you why. Whatever we got, I got on thermal. Whatever was in between us. It walks. MT, you're so far back, I can't even see you, okay? And we're talking, and something goes off to the left of me. I say I hear it. I go, there's something to the left of me, and I got the camera on there, but I'm also holding the thermal. And I say, there's something to the left of me, and I see it, you know, on the thermal. I walk over there, and there's nothing. But there's more to that story, but I'm going to leave it right there because the video is going to drop. Um, but whatever was in between me and you, MT, it stand, looks like it's like on the ground. It stands up and walks into a tree. And I honestly thought, I was like, okay, so that's, I probably caught MT. But there's more to this story, so hold on. It walks into the tree, doesn't come out. And you come walking, fading into the picture. Wow. No, I got to see that. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty wild. Those trees, whatever's there and some connection to the trees has always been something that I think we've noticed. It's just another yep. example of it. Yep. Oh, is Moose trying to come back in, huh? Mm. Yeah. Moose, turn off your phone. It's working. 
I know you're at work. Turn off your phone and re uh, power it back on. Maybe that will I, help you. I had some issues logging in. It wasn't as smooth as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it walks into a tree and it doesn't come back out. Interesting. Yep. Well, around that same spot, too, I, I saw something move. I think it was after that incident with the thermal, though. But I remember seeing something kind of quick, like, but it caught my eye. And it looked right. like some kind of a dark shadow, too. But Ted was right by me and like 50 yards ahead. There were yeah. four sets of eyes. And this was like, this was real clear eye shine to me. I don't know what was there. I couldn't quite tell how tall it was, but there were two taller ones at one at each end. You can see the eyes were taller and then there were two that were lower. At some point I, I got to see all four, but as I was moving, I would see like two. And then at one point I did put together that whole picture. There was actually four. And yeah. that, that was pretty interesting. I really don't know. Couldn't quite see what the heck it was, but I could see the eyes. Yeah, that was a uh, weird, very weird night. <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to hear Moose's take on it, but he looks like he's frozen again. <laughs> yeah, he's frozen. There he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Moose. You got him? Maybe. No, just for Yeah, I think he's there. He looks like he's breathing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We got a couple seconds. Uh-oh. I think he's frozen again. <clears throat> the moose is not loose. Hmm. The moose's internet is loose. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I got to tell you, I messaged you guys after I did uh, the, the night hike. Um, I ran into a, a well, First, I ran into, I got eye shine of something about eight to 10 feet off the ground. And right as I caught the camera on it, I got a rock thrown at me and like landed behind me. And then I, I kept walking. I think if I would have been there with you guys, I would have probably been forward towards it. I was there solo, so I kept moving. And then I ran into a pack of coyotes. There was four to five of them. Is it me or is this mic? Ted, is, is your microphone real low there? It, it might be. I'm yeah, you got to sit kind of close. Keep it closer, I guess. Yeah. So I don't have a studio like you guys. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a microphone. Yeah. yeah. Microphone saving grace for doing this. So, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, right after that, then I ran into a pack of coyotes. Oh. Yeah. Hello, Lori. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that place that night, I believe that we interrupted a hunt. We yeah, did. that's what Moose and I was talking about um, later on that night on the way back. Um, we think he interrupted a, a some kind of a hunt. Yeah. Hello, Lori. There was a group of something real close to us. Like I said, there was four eyes. Four sets of eyes that I seen. So there was a group of something. So we we walked in on a hunt, like you said, or, or something was going on. It was pretty uh, pretty surprising. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I really wanted to uh, get to the caves that night, but unfortunately, I didn't make it. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I just made it to the one, and but when I came out of the when I came out of the cave, just a lot of stuff was starting to happen. So, kind of took me away from the caves. I think that was their whole plan. Mm -hmm. At least yeah. till all of our equipment died. Yeah, a lot of my video started a lot with walking. That's the first thing I did is walked into the caves, and then yeah. as soon as I came out, things started happening. So. Yeah, and it, I mean, we got, it was like fast action, like right mm -hmm. off the bat. It was like, it, it almost got us into an area 
and it wanted us to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a pretty good track that um, right when I, I started my live stream, we found it just before I started the stream. Trapper, you remember seeing that, that mm -hmm. track had those pretty distinct look like toes. Yeah. And it looked like a small print. Yeah, it even had yeah. five toes. Yeah. It was interesting, though. It didn't, it didn't look like a person's foot. The toes did not no. look like a person. No. Mm -mm. Oh, Moose is trying to come back, I believe. Yeah. I don't know what to say. That was a that was a strange night. And it's like I'm missing a whole segment, too, of the video. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's that I just ran into that myself from when we were filming at Claim Six inside. Remember that? I had two cameras, two stationary cameras in the basement. Finally, I'm putting together that video and I'm going through my memory cards. I found the one camera. The memory card that was in the second camera, there is nothing on it except some things from before. But there was nothing on it. And I went to that camera, changed the battery out probably two times. And the one, because I already know by now, because I've had a lot of rough goes at making sure cameras are recording right. And um, even if you don't have a memory card in it, it's not going to record at all. It'll say, you know, it'll give you that blue screen missing right. SD card. So yeah. I started recording, watched the thing, the little record symbol, you know, blinking. And I knew it was recorded, but I cannot find anything on the card. On, I went through every card just to make sure I didn't have the wrong card. And there was nothing from that one camera. I don't, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Moose just uh, messaged and said a tower, a tower issue at his location. Um, yeah. yeah. That's what we're having here. They're putting up the new cell tower and the street lights are all out. Internet's acting up. Phone lines are down. All from that storm that hit. Yeah, just so you know, I think some of y'all got this, what the hunt that we're talking about was, uh, what day was that? Last Sunday. Uh, it's a Saturday, I think. Saturday. Was it Saturday? Saturday? Yeah, last Saturday. But yeah, the, um, the video that I dropped, yeah, that was weird, with the golden eyes. <clears throat> Those things are burnt in my head still. The ones where I go far apart. <laughs> when we're out at six, Mike. Yeah, Jack. That that was what I caught. Was it was like a bright, yeah, almost like a gold color glow on the one that, and then then I had a rock thrown at me. So. Yeah, that was the same thing that happened to me right on video. It was like something landed right next to me, and I turned the camera a little bit, and then it was gone. Mm. Pat, how you doing? Hey, Pat. What's up, Pat? Fortnite fan, one he said, "Tell Mike to pronounce his last name." <laughs> All right, uh, Torn in Casa. There you go. Yep. Hello to everybody that came in. I missed you. Hello, hello. Thank you all for being here. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. If you can, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Got yeah. some great things coming up. As you all know, uh, is Moose connecting. Moose is not on the loose. Yeah. <laughs> He's permanently yeah, Patty, You do know me. He, he, oh. He's stuck in Circleville. Yep. <laughs> See, <laughs> Patty commented there. Yeah, I know who. Yeah, Patty, you do know me. I know who you are, too. <laughs> yeah. Yep, she says, just found T-Mac last night on YouTube. Realized he was talking about Connie Creek. Hey, yeah. Stump Jumper mm -hmm. said something interesting a little a little bit ago there. He said uh, uh, to check out things during the eclipse. Oh, yeah. Well, th that day, I'm definitely going to be out. And, uh, I mean, almost every sheriff uh, uh, through, the, through Ohio, the state of Ohio has put up, like, emergency warnings for that day yeah. already they're telling everyone to prepare stock up on food and water 
Uh, yeah, which is weird because we had an eclipse in 2017 and we didn't have this kind of issue. I'm not sure why it's more nuts now. Other yeah. than just world mm. is more nuts. Yeah, we're, but, we're hearing the same thing down here that um, they're saying that our, our highways are going to be shut down because it's going to yeah. be so congested with traffic. They don't want anybody leaving. You know, they want you to get to, like, if you want to go watch this thing at a state park or a park or something, get there very, very early in the morning and plan mm -hmm. to stay there till late at night. Yep. Hell bad. Right Thank you for being here. Out, so I don't need to move. Right. Good thing is, is I know a place where nobody will be and I will be filming at that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily that we have a lot of private claims. Well, my wife bought us some glasses on that, so I'm going to film. I'm going to video it. I'm going to. So uh, they said our town is supposed to be as like packed. Every every place around here, hotels and bed and breakfasts are packed. Mm. So, yeah, um, I'll be out doing the hunt and I'm going to have one camera facing the sun. I'll be doing a hunt. Okay. I don't know, Stump Jumper. I don't know how it's going to affect them, but I can't wait to find out. Well, someone said it might be a false false flag, and the only thing I can say is you know, false flags still scare the heck out of people, and they panic. So, All right. Yeah. So, yeah. End of so the world. That, means, that means you got to prepare for it. So End prepare for other people behind. to panic. Yep, that they do. Look at the TP, the TP problem. <laughs> no right. toilet paper. Right, which is, I mean, it's nuts like that, but do your grocery shopping before then, that's all. Yeah. I'm going to do a Sam's Club uh, run, like, the beginning of the month or something. Or actually, I think I'll hit the day before, before all the first of the month crowd gets there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely going to be a lot of rituals taking place. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I try to stay. Too. Yeah, I'm going to stay out of that and just do my own thing. Yep. I'm, I'm going to make a nice, nice video for you all. So what do you think? Hey, Amber, you you, gonna, you, you want to go out with me that day? What's that? You want to go out with me that day? Oh, yeah. We'll be out. Uh, did you want to talk about your uh, new gadgets? Yeah. The new gadgets? Mm -hmm. Well, before we do that, let's get them out there and make sure they all work before the – they. you know what I'm saying? Okay. But we got some good stuff in the works, and this is a game changer. I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Sally I, Joe showed hey, me Sally. You, you put that on there and I'm like I want that but it's like when you said the cost I'm like that's going to take too much out of my gun budget <laughs> yeah <laughs> the truth hello hello Austin is a prime location for watching the eclipse yeah yeah yeah, yeah I believe Texas has done the state of emergency stuff there too yeah, they yeah. are. Man, I got a cook some like two or three good spots, MT, that we can go where no one's going to be. I live right across from the stadium, the the stadium in town. I'm just going to go over. It's a nice open field, the track. I'm going to go over there, walk, and uh, there you go. Open spot. You're going to have to keep the uh, the lights on charge, huh? Do uh, need our lights during the day hunt? Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> you know what? That could be. Yeah, that could present. Yeah, you need a flashlight in the middle of the day. Could be. Could be like a uh, you know kind of a special <laughs> day night. Day night hunt. Yeah, you get a three know. minutes of a night hunt. Yeah. We've we've been getting a lot of like solar flare activity too right now, and uh, so I'm wondering if that may you know. There may be like a perfect storm coming with us, or you know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. 
it's going to be interesting to see how these things kick off. Any plans this weekend, y'all? I got one for us. If uh, if you all sit and idle, if y'all want to join me at Claim Three. Oh, I want. Oh, definitely. I gotta go to. What what day are you going? Because I watched. Okay, I had to watch your whole. It was like two hours or something video there. I had to watch all of that. At Claim Three. Yeah, yeah. Claim Three is. Uh, and uh, great I'm like, area. I'm like, oh, I definitely got to go out there. Yeah. Yeah, he called me the other night, was out in the back, and had the phone again, and there was screaming. Sent chills down my spine, but it sounded like a, I want to say a woman, maybe. Well, we, Definitely no coyotes or foxes, I can tell you that. How many, you know, how many times have we gone out there? And, I mean, I know a lot of times I'm I, when I'm even gone live out there where people have spotted the 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 woman in white out there yeah. or a woman in in my photo you know in the photos like so many people have ta taken time stamps wow. in in saying hey or take a look at this so many things have been put on our facebook page of the woman in white or and it looks like it doesn't look like a ghost it it looks like there's actually a woman standing there yeah um you know we've we 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 see it all the time out there almost to the point where i think at one time i even asked you is it a homeless do you think it's a homeless girl you know um in a dress in a dress, dress. Yeah, in a dress oh, in a white dress at that yeah, yeah you know um because it looks it, it doesn't look transparent like a ghost would or it, it looks like it's actually standing there you know um, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's on my videos, you know, and I think Jack, I think you guys even caught it on yours and Mike, I think you caught it on yours too. Yeah. I'm going to bring um, all my stuff and bring my thermal, use my thermal there again. I'm going to set up a static cam. And what about, what's the weather car. supposed to? What's the weather supposed to be like Saturday? What about flying the drone maybe on Saturday? Cold and snowing. Oh, jeez. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, know, truth, uh, truth is in the background. Yeah, it, it uh, was. Um, it was my signal must have been pretty weak for that live stream, and I didn't know until after I was already done with the live stream because I didn't see any of that on my on my phone when I was recording. Um, but after I watched the stream, I could see how grainy it was, and I knew my signal was pretty bad over there. So, yeah. Yeah, usually it's pretty good. For those risks of filming live. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, usually it's okay over there, but that night, even, you know, people that we weren't live, our film was just glitching and equipment was dying, but... I stem it all up to whatever was in the middle there. It was something odd because, like you said, we we right, live there several times, and I can't remember ever doing a live stream there where we had a grainy um, stream because of the signal. Right. So it, it kind of caught me off guard, and it's kind of upsetting. But you know, again, that's that's what happens with live streams outdoors. You know, even if it was something unnatural that was causing it, still something that can happen. Yeah. No, I don't know what a dog man know what sounds they make. I have not a clue. You know, I've been studying a whole bunch of the, the forest animals uh, around here so they don't mix anything up. Uh, and there's some animals that you would surprise you make some very strange noises. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. like foxes. Foxes are well fox but rabbit. If you ever rabbit. rabbits actually sound like babies crying. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. do some weird screeches too. Yeah. Yeah. During mating. Well, I mean that's springtime and I, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. Oh, but then the owls, which I think I caught some the other night because I caught eye shine about sixty feet up in trees. Yeah. Um that some of the owls will make some of the scariest noises. 
Yep. Bobcats make weird noises. Yeah. Yep. Or we, links, got the, yep. we got those bobcats around here, too. How you I doing, know, Lord? I know here in Conneaut, we have confirmed that we had cougars. They got caught on a trail cam in the southern part of the city that got reported to the Conneaut police. Yeah. So. I think I was we uh, had a bobcat when you were alive before, didn't we, cameraman? Wasn't there a bobcat? Yeah, ran right into the cave. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you guys were telling me about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's strange how close these animals will get to us. We had a fox that was barking at us, like a yeah, like a was, like your home dog at home. It was sitting there, ruff ruff ruff. It's like okay. Yep. And what's funny is that little clip when we were filming those foxes, when it <laughs> barks, you can see like you can actually see its eyes move with its head, like when it barks. Mm -hmm. You could definitely see that's what barked. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it up to us. Well, that's what. Um, last, hey, Wilbur. Last, Wilbur, uh, hello. Last summer, I had I was going down to just it was just an Indian Mound Park at night and went to walk in there and uh, with a friend and we had a coyote. I mean, literally screech at us. And best thing I was yeah, it was a coyote, but it it made one of the weirdest sounds. Uh, so we, we paused, took a step back. We're like, oh, are we still going? You know, my friend goes, are we still going in? I said, yeah, it's just a coyote. So um, it was yeah. pretty, it was pretty, I scared the heck out of my friend. Mm. Yeah. That was, uh, that was strange. Something that barked at you at the swamp. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. You, oh. If you watch that, I don't know if you, watch that part and listen to that but whatever made that what sounded like some kind of a bark sound was like it sounded like it was i was expecting to see something directly behind me when i heard it it yeah. sounded like it was oh, right on my tail i think um at claim three we can go live but with the cell towers down and stuff around here i don't know if we can go live at claim three and it be okay video <laughs> It'd be, you know, I think that's the problem um, right now is there's so many towers and Internet and just a lot of things down around here. So that can cause a problem for streaming live. Yeah, especially after that last experience at the caves, man. It's like, yeah, it's a it's a bummer, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a bummer when you go through a live stream and all that all those things going on a lot of cool stuff but i couldn't tell that i i had that kind of reception because it looked clear on yeah. my phone but then it was grainy like the whole stream was grainy yeah and you couldn't really see the chat right yeah something changed with with the uh with something with the the app um, yeah, they updated it. I wish they would the stop games. doing that. Because everything it was really small. Like yeah. the, the chat, the chat was a lot smaller than usual and it's difficult to see. Chris says, "Hi Jack, I caught that creature that sh showed you red eyes the other night. I will post it on your Facebook page." Great. Thank you. Appreciate Sweet. it. Got to look for that. Godzilla, um, I use the one I use is the uh, necrometer, and I use the speech mode. Do we hunt any of the mounds in Ohio? Yes, we do. Yeah, absolutely. I hunt the one up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So our next live, I think the lives will just be on hold until we know for one hundred percent that the cell towers. I mean, I'm going to put mine on hold. I don't know if these guys are, but I'm going to put mine on hold until I know the cell towers are all right. In some of these areas that I go into, there is no service. So once summer gets back in here and we get back into our reg original areas, I mean, I'd rather just do video and get it nice and clear and crispy and good sound for y'all. And then get back into our regular areas and do more lives but definitely like to get out farther you know sometimes there's no service 
in other places, but I'd rather yeah. have you all see nice, clear video. Oh, Patty, yeah, I seen I seen the video of the bear in your driveway. She had a, we had a, we had a, a black bear come right up into the it was all up in the northern part of the city up along the lake. I mean, nowhere near woods, running just running through uh, the neighborhoods. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we don't uh, dig up no. No, we, we we never we don't we don't we never <laughs> harm the land. We don't even like drop a piece of paper. No, uh, we don't dig yeah. no mounds up. Someone asked where I'm from, and I'm from Conneaut, Ohio. It's the the northern most northeastern point of Ohio. Lake Erie and the Pennsylvania border meet. So to, to give you a perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't wait. This video is going to be up in the next day or two from that hunt. You're alive from the caves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Here, next I day is good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see that thermal you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still I still haven't seen your thermal from the swamp when you guys were. Uh, remember, you caught a you caught a image of something on there just when we were like cutting the stream. Yep. Um, and uh, I wasn't able to get a really a good view at it. I was waiting for your video on that one to come out because that was while you guys had me standing in the woods, lights out. Yeah. Let me see if I can share this real quick. Let's see. Nope. What I'll do is I'll have to post it. I'll post it up on Facebook, the two images. Yeah. MT that I got from that house. Yeah, I wanted to see those there? too. Yeah, I'll were post they, them they up were, on Facebook. They were separate from the video part, right? Yeah, they were separate from the video part. Um, the one you could see where it's head. Now, if you remember, the, the uh, thermal was sitting on the shelf. Yeah. yeah. So when you look at it, it looks like it's standing up looking at you. And then it looks like it's turned its head. Remember I said it looked like it turned its head and it's looking? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty strange. I, uh, okay. I had a strange phone call yesterday. And I know I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell any of you guys yet. I figured I can share it now. Um, somebody I know, a friend of mine, calls me and, and wanted me to uh, check out his... Uh, he wanted me to come over because he found a dead deer in his backyard. Um, as most of you, you know, most of you guys know, I, I have a trapping company, so I I did him a favor and headed over there and take a look at it. And the, it, there was no kill shot in it, so that, I mean, nobody shot it with an arrow or a gun. Um, he doesn't live on a busy road, so everybody that drives up and down his his road um should you know shouldn't be going more than 25 miles an hour really um he kind of lives at the end of a cul-de-sac but there's also he also lives there's about 100 acres behind his house that's uh, but uh that a farmer owns um it, it was just a really weird sight the the deer's neck was completely twisted around like holy just cow literally twisted around and you can actually i felt the neck and you can you can literally feel the twisting in the neck and the force that it took. Um, wow. there, there was no blood. Wow. No, no blood. It like no animals ate it. Um, it was not even cut open yet. And what he said was, I asked him about it and he said that morning about 5 AM, he, uh, he heard like something fighting outside in his backyard it woke him up he said it actually one sounded like a human but he goes it, a human couldn't have done this but no. it actually sounded like a human um and then next thing you know he heard a lot of grunting noises and he, and everything just went quiet and he didn't think anything of it and he just went to bed so um 
so I took a look at it and it, I confirmed it had a broken neck. It, it was just twisted. I mean, you, anybody could have confirmed it had a broken neck. It, it just twisted all the way around. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing. Hmm. Um, do you, do you see any other tracks or besides the deer? No, no he, uh, he lives in pretty much like a really nice subdivision. Um, so like all the lawns are freshly cut in that area. Um, I mean, I don't want to say cut because nobody's cutting the grass right now, but every all their lawns are like really manicured, really nice. Um, and it was hard ground, so I didn't see no tracks, nothing like that. Um, along those woods there that's facing his house, the, the farmer has, uh, it's all woods, has no trespassing signs all the way down his property. Oh. And he was telling me that the farmer, I mean, he's not. He, you know, if we went and talked to him, you know, if I would up and go up and talk to him and see what's out there, it, he may not even talk to me because he's, that's kind of like him. Um, but I mean, I, when I first going out there, I thought I'd be a fresh coyote kill, something along those lines. Hmm. Uh, but I was totally wrong. I was dumbfounded. I, I haven't seen a kill like that before. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Moose is still circling. He is. He is determined. He is one determined person. Mm -hmm. So I got Sunday, I got somebody in uh, Andover that asked me to come down and walk their property with them because uh, they've had some strange things on their site. Uh, nothing near your story. I mean, your story like blows me away, Trapper. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what to make of that. It kind of blew me away when I got there. Like I said, I was thinking I was going to go down there and, you know, either this deer was killed by a poacher or, or you know, or killed by a coyote or something. I was expecting to see all kinds of blood underneath it because he didn't pick it up and looked at it or anything. I figured it'd be laying in a pool of blood. Nothing. There's no blood at all. No holes in it. Nothing. You know, this is a pretty good uh, question. Why? Sally right. Joe says, I wonder why it was left there and not taken to eat. Yep. What if it's like a learning kill? Yeah, but you would think these things that caught. live out in the woods is just like us. You know, I when I go hunting, you know, when I hunt during hunting season, you know, even when I taught my son at a very young age to hunt, Whatever you shoot and whatever you kill, you're going to eat. Yeah, I don't care if you take a BB gun out and go shoot a bird. I told him if you shoot a bird or something, you're going to eat it because <laughs> that is the only that's the only why that's the only reason that you hunt is you're going to eat. That's what they're that's why we're hunting is to eat. So yeah, if it got yeah. interrupted, like this, the guy said he heard stuff. If he'd have turned on the light, he may have spooked it. It may have took off from there right yeah yeah so maybe it was a learning kill maybe too since you know like a young one learning but i was thinking i mean like with that story i just said about you know about eating it i i think those i, I think they would take it to eat it you know no matter they just wouldn't let it lay there and rot you know i mean by the time i got there the thing laid there all day long it was killed at five in the morning and by the time I got there, it was, you know, it was evening time by the time it was like 12 hours later. Um, but I mean, they, I haven't talked to him today to see if it was still there. Um, because we did leave it um, just to see what, what would happen with it. Um, I haven't heard from him today. I, I think he went out of his yard. So I'm, I'm guessing he's going to be calling me in the next, you know, day or two or if if maybe i don't know i yeah. call, i told him i also told him to call the game warden i was like if not you want me to meet the game warden out there i can do that too um just to ease his mind a little bit <laughs> yeah there's Lori says maybe you wanted to gift it maybe oh maybe <laughs> maybe you're right Good maybe thing. just like how cats That's what's my cat like does. mice yeah like the yeah. mouse they kill Bigfoot yeah. or something 
twisted the deer's neck and was like, here you go. So yeah, maybe that did. might be it. You know, it's, that's, that's, that's a good, interesting thought. Cause mm -hmm. that's what both my cats will do. Yeah. yeah. Could be. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now, if it happens again, that would be... <laughs> That'd that be ironic. That would be crazy. Maybe if you get rid of it for him, see if it comes back. Like, you know, oh, the gift is gone. Let me let me leave you another one since you lost that one. I think it's right. time for that guy to get like a ring camera in his backyard. Yeah, Stump <laughs> Jumper says maybe a warning too. Could be. Yeah, you want to just <laughs> be your neck. Yeah, I'll let everybody know. I'll let everybody know the outcome because I'm sure I'll be hearing from them in the next day or two. So yeah, I'll keep us posted. Everybody... That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, time to put up a ring camera. Yeah, <laughs> Contact the trapper, see if uh, you can go get it, and ask him to let you know if, if, if another one shows up or if he hears some right. more again. That'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure he's gonna want me to come and get it. Unless he did call the game warden, and the game warden went out there, the game warden probably took it. But was it just a doe? Yeah, it was just a doe. Just a doe. Was it big? Was it like full grown? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, she was probably all. Of she was probably all about 100 and I would say 115 pounds. Wow. 100, she was a big doe. It was a big doe. It was a big doe. I wonder if it was pregnant. They get, they do their breeding season around now. Yeah. Yeah. She was, she was a good size. So she was at least 115, 120. Yeah. She's big. So ordered some more spray. So hopefully the pheromone spray. That around this time would be a good time to use it. I hate yep. that stuff. You make, all, you, make, you make the wood smell all pretty, but it's not really pretty smelling. It's, yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think it was a... What, what have you had when you sprayed that? What what have you had happen? What's that? I said, what, what have you had happen when you sprayed that? Oh, man. We get a lot of stuff happening. Depends on the area, though. You know, and it depends on if I spray. Sometimes, a lot of times, I'll mix it with a his and her pheromone just to see what happens. But sometimes uh, when I just put, like, the female pheromone out, we get weird calls. And <laughs> I had something thrown at me. It was probably mad. <laughs> like, you're, not, you're not pretty you're enough. A woman. <laughs> <laughs> you're not pretty enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, gosh. I got I got a meme for you, Jack. I have to put on your page there. It's, it has a picture of a, like a female Sasquatch. It says, you'll never be lonely at SasquatchOnly.com. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to invest in one of those bee suits, too. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely getting oh, a bee gosh, suit. Oh, gosh, yes. This cicada time, I'm already worried now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The moose is on the loose. Hey, he's there. Hey, yo, I'm here. <laughs> That's funny. You found moose? your internet. Moose? Oh, you had to go outside. Uh, yeah, I had to go outside. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a fight. Uh, I don't know what was going on, but uh, uh, I was having a fight with the tower. And uh, something uh, in an update that I had to fight through. Uh, it's just crazy stuff. Technology. Yeah. How we do this? One of those times they're going to think <laughs> to come up to you, Jack, and want some sexy time. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> I'm gonna spray trapper down with it and have him run across the fields. In a in a bunny suit? <laughs> oh my god. <gosh>. Chicken suit. <laughs> chicken suit never happened. Chicken suit. Oh, chicken suit's gonna happen. Patty says, not the bad bees, MT. Oh yeah, those bad bees. Oh, Hello, you and your guys' bees. 
I'm telling you, Trap, wait. Wait until you see one of these I, things. I don't want – I've seen them before. I don't want to meet them. They, I went out there that one day that was bothering you guys. They didn't bother me at all. You oh, guys just wait. Just wait. Everything. You're just not a bee person, Trap. <laughs> yeah. They like us because we're sweet. Yeah. Eat more garlic. Mm -hmm. oh, the garlic ain't gonna save you from these things. I'll pick you up and fly away with you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, now we're really reaching. Yeah, <laughs> Just wait, you'll be reaching for a tree limb when you start flying away. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta bring a fly swatter out with you. you need a like a one of those uh, tennis rackets yeah, with electric running through them. Electric rackets. Yeah. yeah. You might like rip a hole in it though. Those things are pretty uh delicate. <laughs> yeah, no. They come flying at you like a bullet. It might be one Jeez. shot. I'll just keep the tree knocker handy and just hit home runs. <laughs> I got you on film swinging for the swinging for <laughs> your life. Swinging for my life. Yeah. And then you hit it, it sounded like a like Babe Ruth hitting a home run. We're out measuring it like it was a footprint. This <laughs> is just nuts that it's that big. Yep. You guys yep. are bees. I tell you what, we ran into one of those Asian ones though. Oh yeah. I didn't think I wasn't sure if we were going to see them or if they were around, but one of them came right up to us and was just like standing us off. It was right there buzzing us. Bright, mm -hmm. dark, like dark orange, dark orange and black, just looking at us, and he was huge. Yeah. Like, all right, we turned around and left. Like, oh yeah. This way. Yeah, I just at the end of last year, I just couldn't wait for it to be over. Like <laughs> winter to be here, I was just like, I'm done, done with the the bees. I mean, it was horrible. <sighs> oh boy. It was bad. Those bees were bad. Just wait. If you're allergic to bees, I would say make sure you have your EpiPens. I am allergic to bees. Make sure you have your EpiPen. All right. It's good to those know. things are no joke. And they don't stop. Once they see you, that's it. That's it. You're, I remember you're, you're when target. we went to, we went to that. I don't remember what claim it was, but we were up there, and you guys, I, you, you were telling me, oh my gosh, the last time I was here, these bees swarmed me and everything, and I get out there, and not one bee even came around. I think that was by the caves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zilla, yeah, we do PA. We're we're traveling a lot more this summer. Yeah. But primarily, yeah, we're in Ohio. So, yeah, there's a lot here to do. I got a, I got a couple spots just on the other side of the border uh, in the Pennsylvania because I'm, I'm right, I'm like, I'm, I've been, a, I'm like a mile and a half from the Pennsylvania border, so uh, I got a couple spots that I'm going to go to in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're pretty close. You're closer to Beaver Creek then too. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're further from Beaver Creek. No, he's further from. Oh, okay. He's further. Yeah, that's right. I'm. Yeah, a, he's about an hour north. Yeah. 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 There's a big Pennsylvania state game land right right on the right when you cross the border. Yeah, they could be the killer hornets. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think with the um, how the cicadas were last year. And from looking up those, the ones that they call cicada killer hornets, I think we pretty much matched them up. Yeah. The ones that we were running into. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, Vicky. Yeah, I had, I had to get a picture. <laughs> Once you guys said that, I had to look up the pictures of them and the stats on them. And I'm like, oh, no, uh uh. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely uh, make sure you have your EpiPen. I'll give it to you to carry for me, okay? Just make sure you wear your bee suit. Yeah, I'll be in a bee suit, so. 
Yeah. I'll be all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can see you tromping through the woods in a bee suit. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just gonna say too. I'm gonna say, you know what, Jack, you go that way. I am gonna go this way. Hey man. <laughs> if you Can't know me it. bees, bees flock to me for some reason. So do ticks. Yeah, yeah ticks do. Bees yeah. and ticks. It's the pheromone. It is the pheromone. Yeah. You're there you right. go. That's why you stop using the pheromones. Eat more yeah. garlic. <laughs> have a nice garlic. That's sandwich. all I hear from Ted. Eat more garlic. Yeah, eat more it garlic. works, man. I have never eat had a garlic. tick on me, but I will literally eat like a whole clove of garlic before I go into the woods. <laughs> yeah. so, my, nobody else wants to come near me either. Eat, eat garlic yes, and onions. Jumper. Keeps everybody away. <laughs> I've been on it for the last two days, Stump. There's a lot going on with those mines. Just trying to connect them. It's like you got to get the map of Ohio, then get a city, lay that map down, and kind of like pinpoint it to the areas. There's a mine opening in my backyard. Is there? Oh, yeah. I was looking Ooh. at I was looking at the map, and there's an opening right in my backyard. Oh, that'd be right. awesome. And I'm sitting there going, okay, it says it's here, but like most of them must have been covered up or there's something hiding it that uh, can't be seen. But uh, yeah, my next door neighbor, it's right in between, right in between our properties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna find it. It. I think I'm going to take a look at some too. I think I might yeah. be on board with the with the bee suit season. <clears throat> yeah, better safe than sorry, man. Especially walking through the woods. You know how hot those bee suits are. All the hiking <laughs> that we do out there. Yeah, man. You know how bad one of those bee stings will hurt. I will take my chances with the bees before I put a bee suit on. Okay. Yeah, you, you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? What's up? I'm going to be in a bee suit. You're going to be not in a bee suit. Mike's going to be in a bee suit. We're going to be out. You're going to get stung. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to have to call And then the week after, so. you'll be in a bee suit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ORD, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I was having some technical problems connecting my phone to my computer. I never got to do my video for Claim 6 when we were inside. And um, I finally figured it out. So I'm putting that video together. So hopefully that should have that out in a couple of weeks. But, uh, R.D., how you doing, buddy? I captured some pretty R.D. things from inside. Yeah. Yeah, Patty, I, I welcome anybody wants to come with me when I go for any of my hikes or especially now I'm doing more night hikes. Um uh, new company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so other than that, um I'll just say it. What we're gonna try to do is up at claim three is get some cameras up and Hopefully, we'll be able, since things are really getting worse there at three, we'll be able to click the switch and be able to watch anytime, 24-7, if we wanted to. That that sounds great. Full-time yep. full access to surveilling? Yeah. Yeah. Good opportunity yep. for a lot of, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it just seems like I said the other night that scream. No animals doing it like that. Something really going on there, and it seems like it's starting to kick back up. I mean, he's called me three times this week. Hmm. Oh. 
Yeah, that's how it seems to keep going over there. Yeah. You know, what's there, why it's continuing. I don't know if we'll ever figure it out. Yeah, I know that we talked about certain things like, is it possible that, you know, he can create it? I don't know. What do you mean he can create it? Well, there's a theory out there. They say that, um, what's a good way to put this? Easy way to manifest it. it. Yeah, that you can manifest things. Oh, it's a ghosts. personal attachment. Yeah, that you can manifest a ghost. You can manifest things moving, slamming doors. Yeah, because it's attached to them personally, and it's not just a a uh, house or property re uh, relation in regards to right. the situation. Right. What do they call that? A PK? Psycho a PK psychokinesis. Some, yeah, yeah, along those lines, like poltergeist activities kind of related, kind of along the same way. Is that yeah. like, a, like a demon possession or? Um, I don't demon think that. Attraction. <clears throat> Bar. I mean, it's. I guess it's not really. There's really no explanation, but it, it seems like activity, say paranormal activity of different kinds, can be manifested around some kind of a. You call it like an emotional connection, or like maybe a um, a certain. Um, a, you could say like almost like an ability. Like some people, they say have a. a an ability to have or use some kind of psychokinesis to um, induce or cause activity. And like in, in um, poltergeist cases, it seems to re those seem to revolve around a certain person who a lot of times it's like younger people and they seem to have a, a certain state that they're in with their emotions and their feelings that can cause um, can cause things to become like you said moose like almost like attached based around a certain person and it has a lot to do with their mental state or their feelings or their emotions and yeah. some people can can manifest things and it's not really proven how some people can do that you know so it, and i think that could vary because not necessarily everybody you know i don't think you have to be on a certain level to cause something like a full-blown poltergeist episode you could maybe slightly be in touch or slightly in a, an emotional state that's troubling and it could feed um the environment which could lead to like certain kinds of things manifesting themselves it might have to do with you when you talk about the homeowner at claim three somehow it could be related to him yeah yeah no grammar this is the land that's his, it's a house and land. There's no, uh, they wouldn't turn any of that into a, like a subdivision or anything like that. But what you captured though in the red light, that entity in the red light, see, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't know if I've really, um, I, I tend to think whatever that was is something of its own accord you could say whatever's there is there for a reason but i'm not you know i'm not quite sure what its connection is but i think you know it's apparent it's got some kind of a connection to being there and right. whatever is going on i don't know if it's necessarily one thing there or how complex it could be that could cause such variety of kinds of noises and interaction but i i i kind of think whatever is there is um is a big part of whatever is going on and yeah. whether or yeah. not it will ever show itself again is always something that i would honestly i would like to i'd like to see if it would show itself again but i really don't think i don't know i hate to be kind of negative as far as like evidence but i really don't think we'll ever see that again i hope so but yeah i do too that's why you know we keep bringing out all the same equipment you know bringing out our equipment 
Yeah. Let's see if we can see it or communicate. And with things that are going on out just in his wooded area and the area, that could be a magnet for other things to come in. Uh, my question is uh, in regards to the hitting on the house, uh, is it always the same side of the house? No. Hmm. No. It's just, it, I mean, is it a designated, you know, is it always, you know, one or two sides or is it all around? Oh, all in around. Well, not all around the, like, all around the back side, but never in the front. Okay. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. And it just makes me think of those trees that, you that know what I'm saying? Upward. That fell the opposite way from. They fell up, up fell the hill. Uphill. Yeah. <laughs> A pretty I steep, steep yeah. bank too. When you see yeah, it, you're just kind steep. of like it. I don't see how this could have happened. Right. That's a neat. I trick, mean, when they were leaning, they fell uphill. Yeah. yeah. That's the way. There, or I think, was that our first video we did there? Yeah, it was our first yeah. video, right? Our first video yeah, there. You could, you could see them. We showed those trees. Yeah. You could see them. They just, they somehow fell. If you, you know, if you believe that they could have fallen, that's, that's a mystery. To me, how yeah. they could have fallen the way they did, but it looks like something pushed them over. Right. So you take a tree that's on a hill, leaning that's that leaning way downhill, and then take it huh. and push it all the way back that way. And then sitting there going, "This is impossible." Yeah. When you that's see roots. it, doesn't look natural. Yeah, the roots and, and everything. Storms, right? Right? That was the thing we eliminated were any kind of storms, which mm -hmm. there were no storms no from storms. when that occurred. And that that would have been the only thing I could think of that would have caused that, naturally. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to uh, get that video up in the next day or two. Can't wait for everybody to see that. I think that we're all doing a great job. I like more cameras out there. <clears throat> Yeah, and I was three. Yeah. I can't wait to I can't wait to get there. Yeah. Definitely want to get to the caves. Uh MT, you available tomorrow? Yep. Yeah, tomorrow's good. You want to take a cave trip? Yep, that sounds good. I'm back with being able to use my phone to record again, so Good timing. Sweet. North Alabama Cryptid. Wow. Mr. and Mrs. NAC. What is going on? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you all for being here. If I missed you, I appreciate you. We all do. Yes, we do. Yes. Appreciate you taking the time out of your busy days. Yeah. Yeah. So busy weekend for us all. If uh, you guys are down, I know uh, MT, keep me posted on your situation. Yeah. Tomorrow's, I'm good tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I just How about this weekend? Know. I just yeah. need to know where and when. All right. Moose, how you doing this weekend? Uh, Saturday, I'm not going to be available, but Sunday, I'm, I'm good. Good, 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 good. I like that. Um, I was thinking, well, if Sunday you want to come out, you want to go back to our spot. We haven't been back there. We had a question in the comments, but I was waiting for you to get back. Well, uh, are we talking about, uh, claim three or. No, different claim. The claim that me and you found that night. Oh, yeah. The area. Yeah, I would love to get back there. Um, I want to try and see if I can't uh, 
get some fishing in. I doubt it with uh, the cooler air, but uh, hopefully the water's warmed up uh, at least enough to get some uh, bluegill. Yeah. Nothing like dropping. Uh, nothing like dropping off a bunch of fish in a bucket. <laughs> yeah, this time I'll have more lights. I was kind of panicky, wasn't I? You do got to say I was a little bit panicked, Moose. Yeah, you were. You were nervous. I could tell by. Um, it's just you wanted to get out of there. It's just like uh, there's too much. There's activity going on around us. I want to get out of here. We're not in a very good. Uh, we're not in a very good site. You know. Um, yeah. Me personally, yeah. I was just. Uh, I was amazed that we didn't have any interaction while we were there, but I think that while we, we were there, uh, they were out hunting because you could hear the, the geese uh, going nuts down by the lake. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. panicked. I was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to stay no longer. I was like, we got to get out of here. We're going to get in trouble. I think we had yeah. what two flashlights, one amongst us, both. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. That and that was it. Backups. No backups. No nothing. And we were out there. I mean, I was pretty amazed at the place, and then reality hit. Like, uh oh. Yeah. You know, things can go really wrong, really fast. And looking down at the light and going, "Oh wow, there's two bars left." Um. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We got we got to move. Victoria, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Victoria. Yeah, really do appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Do some field tests with those new that new setup. See how it works. Yeah, can't Be wait. Fun. Hello. Sorry, I fell behind. Very good. Right. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't get turned around. I didn't want to get stuck out there. No we only had, like I said, he had a flashlight. And actually, I didn't bring no flashlight at all. We were actually doing a day recon and then ran into that area and... Um, you know, I was like, man, I don't have a flashlight. He's like, I got, a, you know, my backup. And then we went in and we were in there for what? A good hour and something. Hour, hour and a half. Yeah, we were in there. Uh, we were in the uh, the site for, had to have been around 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, just standing around gawking at uh, everything that we were, we were seeing. Um, we went in one way. And then when we left, we left out, we missed the turnoff and we went out a different way because we were sitting there wondering why these branches were blocking this, this trail. Uh, opening. Yeah, yeah. The trail that was there. And we're like, this wasn't the way it was when we came in. Uh, so that, uh, I mean, if it was, it was making, I, I know it was making me feel a little bit nervous that it was blocked off in such such a little yeah. time. It's like I said, like I said on a video, it's almost like Hotel California. You check in, but you, apparently we can't check out. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, probably yeah, one of the only times that Jack didn't get get you guys turned around. Trust me, I, I, I've been turned around enough. Well, I was just about to say something, Trap, too. <laughs> yeah. The cameraman probably remembers the one a long time ago, one of the first times where we got off trail trying to find our way back, and we ended up like a mile from where we were before we found <laughs> kind of our direction. Well, what about yeah. the time in the storm, Mike, when that, like, like a tornado or something was coming through and all those trees were oh, falling. He's God. like, we just got to stand still. Just stand still. No, I'm not standing still. There's trees falling. We're getting out of here. Thought is, 
right at the climax. The is, all these awesome. trees are falling around us. I want to know where they're, you know, where I'm going to be crushed from, you know? <laughs> right, right at the climax of that, you just saw, we just had like a sighting of, of something. Remember that it was like a big dark figure yeah. that was moving by oh, us? And yep. that yep. was going on. That all hell broke right, loose. Right at the peak of that. Yeah, right at the peak of yep. that storm, man. And we didn't want to like break from it. Right. That was death coming to get you. Oh, yeah. Trapper had a tree fall right behind him, up in front Nick. of us. Two trees fell. I mean, branches were falling from the tops, and it was crazy. Yeah, Mike actually ran towards me because I think he thought the tree was falling on me. He actually started running towards me to get to me. That was a crazy night. Yeah, man. Big limbs breaking off from the tops of the trees hitting the ground. That was just Something nuts. throwing rocks at us when we were leaving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone's throwing rocks at us as we're leaving, probably yeah, going dumb ass. <laughs> I can't stay out kind of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. Definitely well, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you so much. Only torches. Yeah. yeah, the early pioneers. I think he says it got a little nervous for you guys. Yeah. Oh, all I'm right. Gonna... With that said, I'm gonna end this right here. Okay. Keep y'all too too late. I can talk all, all right. night. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, tomorrow, next day or so, I'll have that video drop. I just want to finish going over everything, and I'm not gonna circle any of this. So I want you all to find it. I'm gonna make me a copy with things circled and put it up and then whatever y'all find i'll drop it on disc and and then i'll also name the winner from the last video okay Get a gift giveaway somewhere in the video but yeah other than that i will see y'all this weekend Bye. mt okay. i'll see you yeah. tomorrow Safe travels and whatever you're doing. Are you uh, going out tonight, Ted? Yeah, I'm going to. I got to check my. I put a poll up there. So if anybody wants to put a last minute opinion in. So um, I put a couple of different sites that up that are local. And then I got one where it says somewhere new. It's a area I just I haven't gone to yet, but have scouted out. So um, and uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do where it's like wherever whatever people put on there. That's where I'm gonna go tonight and go exploring. All right, be safe. Yeah. I'll yeah, be watching. Be safe out there. I'll yeah. drop so, the video. Yeah, buddy. Too. Yeah, I'll put the video. I won't do a live stream, but I'll do a I'll do a video and I'll get it I'll get it downloaded tonight. But it'll probably be tomorrow before it'll, most people will end up seeing it. Yeah, be safe, man. Already. Yeah. Definitely Take moose care out there. Thanks for having me on, guys. I greatly appreciate this. I know my last video, I referenced all of you guys there. Uh, I say thank you, guys. I've gotten uh, gotten a lot of help from you guys, a lot of tips on how to do this stuff. Hey, um, Ted, before we jump off here, go ahead, if you can, type in your, um, well, real slowly, say you, the name of your uh, YouTube channel. A lot of people are asking what your YouTube channel is. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, let's see. I don't know how to do this chat here part. I, I had trouble getting logged on, but it's just, TMAC, just tell it. Yeah, there you go. T Mac T M A C. And it's add a T Max American experience. Just look, look for a guy in camouflage with bombs behind him. So, so, um, yeah, T Max American experience. Or if you guys want American experience, if you guys so. want, you can guys go to my uh, my channel. It's one of the I I actually feature his channel on in the uh, the about section of my channel. Oh, you guys want to put on there, and that's one of the channels I feature. There's no more in about section. They took the about section out. Is mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Click the drop down. The yeah, drop just the drop down. down. You'll find it's like the same when you get to that, but they don't do the about anymore. All right, get it on there. 
with that said thank you all for being here hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet we appreciate you and there'll be a video drop in the next day or two and then we'll keep you updated about tomorrow and definitely a lot going on this weekend so if there is a pop-up live from one of us there'll be a pop-up live but uh you know with cell towers and internet and phone lines and street lights out and all kinds of stuff from that last storm going on we'll cross our fingers but if there's a pop-up i'll give you all a heads up beforehand on the facebook page and if you haven't been to the facebook page yet head on over great community great people mm -hmm. you'll, you'll enjoy it a lot that's where all the evidence goes and a lot of people put in a lot of work to find a lot of great stuff but with that said I'm Jack the cameraman. Okay. Mike, MT Paranormal Life. I'm Trapper. Okay. I'm T Mac, Mo T Max American Experience. Moose. Moose is on the loose. <laughs> Moose is on the loose. I love it, man. Thank you all. All right. God bless you guys. Yeah, Thank good you. Good night, everyone. Yep. Thank you all for being here. Y'all have a great day tomorrow and the rest of the week. And we will see you on the next hunt. Bye. Bye.